I just can't believe I am coming at you again with a Nespresso haul. So I picked up a few things from Nespresso. Yes, again, you guys love my Nespresso hauls. I, whenever I share something on Instagram, I get so much feedback from you guys and you know who you are. I love Nespresso coffee. I've had my Nespresso machine for a year now and I love it so, so, so much. So I have the Nespresso Vertura machine. I love all the flavored coffees and all that good stuff. And today I am going to show you what I have recently picked up from Nespresso. And then we'll be doing a taste testing because I am eager to try some of these flavors, but we'll get more into that as the video goes on but I wanted to say hi, my name is Lauren. If you're new and this is the first video you're seeing on my channel, I have a few Nespresso videos that I'll all link down below, so check those videos out if you love watching coffee videos or Nespresso related videos. I have a few of them, they'll be linked down below. Check them out. And they're just hauls showing some of my favorite coffees from the Verturo Nespresso line and all that good stuff. So if you're interested in those videos, check those videos out that I've posted. Also, before we get into this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know if you like seeing these videos. I know a ton of you have commented and messaged me on Instagram saying that you love them. It's really nice to hear and I love hearing that positive feedback. So make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up and let's get into the haul. So if you are a longtime subscriber or you have seen my other Nespresso videos, then you know that the Bianco Leggero pod is my absolute favorite pod. It is the barista edition pod. It is so good. It is a double espresso shot. I just recently discovered actually that it was a double shot of espresso and I'd have multiple of these a day. So I was espressoed out and I realized that it's a double shot. So I was like, you need to not have three of those on some days, you know? The flavor notes are sweet biscuit. I love cereal flavor notes, the sweeter, the biscuit. But I picked up more of these Bianco Leggero pods because they were out of stock. Usually I go a little bit crazy when buying them, but I only bought three this time. Usually I buy like seven at a time, maybe eight at a time, because I just I can't live without these, and I haven't had one, a cup of these in a month. They're my favorite. They're really good with the Oatly oat milk. The original Oatly oat milk looks like this. So good. You don't need sweetener with it. It's creamy, delicious. I think... The key to making this coffee so delicious is the correct milk added to it and the Oatly original oat milk just creates the perfect creamy cup of coffee and with this you just can't go wrong. It is so good. Right when it returned I got a text message saying like long awaited Bianca Leggero is back in stock. I rushed over and quickly bought this. So I bought three of them. My favorite pod, best pod in my opinion um let me know if you feel the same way i know that a couple of you guys messaged me on instagram saying the same thing a lot of you guys were like bianca laguerra is back in stock like go get some so i thank you for reaching out to me if you did i appreciate that it was very sweet so i got three of those and then i kind of decided to purchase this which is a little bit outside of my comfort zone i do have to say but i feel like with nespresso getting outside of your comfort zone is easy and i tend to like a lot of this coffee that nespresso has so getting outside of my comfort zone is a little scary but i feel like i still enjoy the coffee regardless so i decided to buy the vetturo 100 capsule master origins pack so it's a hundred pods uh espresso like single shot double shot grand lungo which is a, a americano version on an espresso shot it's more watered down and then coffee so there's like a whole master origins pack i'm sure if you have a nespresso vetturo machine then you have seen the master origins pack or individual box capsules on the nespresso site 
So I decided to purchase the 100 Capsule Master Origins pack so that way I could kind of taste multiple different types of coffee that are originated in specific parts of the world. So I thought that was pretty cool. And the 100 pack came with the Origin coffee mugs. And if you have watched my channel, you know that I have the Grand Lungo size Nespresso mugs. So they, they look like this. The Origin collection, it's inspired by a coffee bean, I believe. It looks like this. This is the Grand Lungo size. I love these. It came in a pack of two. But this one is limited edition and you can't get, you can't purchase this coffee size unless you purchase the 100 capsule Master Origins pack. So you can't purchase this cup size separately, but you can purchase the Grand Lungo size and the espresso size with this color. So this one you can purchase no matter what. This one's just a limited edition and it's the coffee size. So as you can see the size difference, this is the coffee, this is the Grand Lungo. And then the inside is what makes it limited edition. So it comes with two of them with the Master Origins pack of coffee and it has the nice pink inside. But you can buy it with the pink inside in this size and the espresso size if you don't want to buy the master origins pack unfortunately the master origins pack is actually out of stock right now but i think they're going to bring it back just keep an eye out on the site and hopefully they'll restock i know that espresso is doing a sale right now so people are probably just going in and buying stuff the coffee that it comes with is like so it doesn't come with all of them it comes with only four of them but you get multiple boxes of that flavor. So first it comes with the limited edition double espresso from Nicaragua. And it comes with four boxes of these. So it's a double shot of espresso. It's the intensity level of a five. So it's fruity and candy. So hoping I like this because there's four boxes of it and it's from Nicaragua and I just thought it would be fun to kind of explore different flavors made in these areas of the world. I just think that's cool. So it came with four of those and then the other three flavors came with only two boxes. So it came with two boxes of the Ethiopia Grand Lungo. So it's a drawn out espresso shot, watered down a little bit. It's an intensity level of a four. Fruity and floral. So I think I'll like that. Next, um, Peru. So it came with two of these from Peru. And I think Peru is just a single shot. It's a single shot of espresso. It's fruity and complex. And it has an intensity level of a six. And lastly, I got the Costa Rica ones. So it comes with the Costa Rica ones. I know that there's two other coffees that are in the, that are the Master Origins collection, but weren't sold in this collection off of Nespresso. It's the Colombia and Mexico one. And those are both coffees. The Costa Rica one is Gran Lungo. Oh, I don't know if it's Lungo or Lungo. So sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but I think I'll like this one because it's multi-sweet cereal and that just sounds right up my alley so I feel like this is gonna be a favorite um, and the intensity level is a seven so I figured it'd be fun to put each of these in a glass and taste test them for you so I'm gonna pull out four cups and we're gonna taste test them on camera and I'll let you know my thoughts how I feel and all that good stuff okay here are the different coffees lined up so we have the one from ethiopia which is the grand lungo and then we have the one from peru which is a single shot of espresso then the one from nicaragua which is the double shot and then lastly the one from costa rica which is another grand lungo we're gonna taste test them all also if you have tried any of these which ones are your favorite and which ones do you love comment them down below because i would love to know so the first one i'm going to test is the one from ethiopia which is a grand lungo i didn't add any milk to these because i really wanted to get the flavors of the espressos and grand lungos by themselves 
to really see the flavors and how I would like them alone as opposed to with milk. Let's try this one from Ethiopia. Hmm, I feel like I definitely taste I definitely taste the floralness in this Grand Lungo. It tastes really good by itself too, which I love. It's not too, too strong, too overbearing, nothing. It's balanced in a way. It says discover bright notes of fruit jam and orange blossom flowers. So I definitely taste the floral in this. It's really good. Definitely something that I enjoy and like so this one's really good i rate it like a 7 out of 10 and then i wonder what it tastes like with milk so next is the single shot of espresso from peru so let's try this fruity and complex it is complex i feel like it's kind of acidic very acidic the acidity is a four so no wonder it tastes acidic huh it is complex. I like it. I feel like I'd like it more with milk. It is bitter too. I think it, this, I can't just like sit there and enjoy this. So I'm eager to try it with milk and see if I like it. It's, it's pretty good, but it's not my favorite. So far I rate it, I think I'm gonna rate it like a four. It's very complex. They weren't lying when they're, it's just a complex flavor in your mouth. It's just, I don't know how else to describe it. It is complex. Next is going to be the double shot of espresso from Nicaragua. So it's fruity and candied. So there's four boxes of this. So I think so, right? Yeah. So there's four boxes of this. So let's hope that I like it because there's a lot. A small cherry, definitely. So let's taste it. Definitely taste cherry too cherry and pomegranate. I really do like this for a double shot of espresso. It's really good. It's different. It's not something that I would just go and pick up. So that's what I like about this Master Origins collection. It kind of groups everything together and then gives you a little bit of a perk with the cups or the mugs and um, kind of gets you out of your comfort zone to try different coffees that you won't necessarily just pick because of the flavor notes or something. I've never had a coffee like this that's cherry smelling and cherry tasting it's really good unique different and it's fermented so i think that's really cool and lastly it's the gran lungo from costa rica which i think i'm excited about because it's multi and sweet cereal character so i just have a feeling that i'm gonna like this one a lot oh i rate this one probably an eight out of ten because i really think it's gonna be so good with milk too i'm such a lame coffee drinker just drink it with milk but it's really good this is delicious it is the most perfect flavor i would drink this on its own too i just love it this is like a 9.5 out of 10 and i know that it'd be a 10 out of 10 or like an 11 out of 10 if i added um my milk to it it is so good it's definitely a sweet cereal character malty it's just delicious so the coffee beans are soaked in rainforest hot spring waters. Wow, it's so good. I think this is my new favorite. I'm definitely going to be purchasing this outside of the Master Origins. Maybe even add it to my routine Nespresso order. I love it. And I knew I would like it just from the flavor notes and just the aromas that it described and everything. I knew I would love it. And this is definitely going to be repurchased. I'm super excited to also try these with milk. I'll keep you posted on how they are. I'll also keep you posted on if I'll be repurchasing any of these. Just stay tuned because I do do Nespresso hauls every few months when I restock. So if you're interested in keeping up with that, definitely subscribe. I keep this channel very up to date with how often I do Nespresso hauls and which coffees I like, which coffees I'm not repurchasing. And I also love to hear from you guys and see which coffees you're loving right now, which ones you're repurchasing, which ones you're not liking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little switch up of a video and a little taste testing of the Master Origins collection. I am actually eager to try 
the two coffees that weren't included in this Master Origins collection that they released, which is the one from Colombia and Mexico. So maybe I'll just have to purchase those separately. Let me know if you have tried those or any of these in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts for sure. I would love to hear them. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed for future content. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.